Hi, I'm Allison Foley and this is Leading Edge Dog Show Tips. So I'm going to show you how you would go about filling out an entry form. So a lot of people really ask me a lot of questions about this and it's a really, if you've never done it before, it, it does sound complicated. Um, so basically you would have a Canadian Kennel Club entry form and it may or may not have the show information here at the top. So this is about what they look like. I'm just going to show you our blown up version so it's easier to point things out. So right here it may or may not be pre-printed with the name of the show, the date, and whether it's show one or show two if there's two shows a day. So if it's not you're going to fill that information in for each show. Then it's basically plug and play from your certificate of registration or if the breeder has sent you your dog's name, the breeder, the sire, dam, date of birth, etc. Your dog needs to be eligible for CKC registration, Canadian Kennel Club, but it does not need to be necessarily registered yet. If you're showing a young puppy or a foreign dog that isn't registered, you can show them as listed. You pay an additional fee until they are registered, but you can definitely show your dog before you receive this certificate from the Canadian Kennel Club. So it's plug and play. Like I said, you look up your dog's name on here, you plug it into the appropriate space on here. Then, you know, the next line is going to say dog show class. You're going to figure out what class your dog goes into. We have a tutorial on that on our YouTube channel. And then same thing. It's going to say breeder, etc., etc. You pull the information from this certificate and fill it out. It's very important that you also include the proper fees. The fees will be in the premium list, which is where you got the information for that dog show. And most important, the entry form must be received by the show secretary before the closing date of entries. The closing date of entries will be on that premium list. One small difference between showing your dog in Canada and sending in an entry form is if you are sending in an American Kennel Club entry form to show in an American Kennel Club event, you must, if you are mailing it or faxing it in, include the back of the entry form. All of this policy and procedure that's just stuff you have to read, it means that you agreed to it, must be on the entry with the entry. I mean, it can clearly be photocopied so that it's side by side and not on the back, but it has to be one document or the social secretary will simply reject that entry. I've had people that were entered at national specialties and had their entries rejected because they did not send this back portion that is for American Kennel Club entry forms only. So one last thing I'd like to talk about in entering your dog is this. In the digital age, there's many ways to now enter your dog. A lot of people like to use different entry services. Definitely in the US, I like to use InfoDog. I find them very easy to use. In Canada, we have dogshow.ca, um, but by far my favorite entry service is the original one, which is called The Entry Line. You can look up The Entry Line anywhere. There's gonna be information um, listed on the bottom of this video and you simply call them up and the thing I love about entry line is they tweet and send out messages about when a show is upcoming when it's going to close so you have like a few hours you're reminded to get your entries in and also they don't let you make a mistake so I can you know go to enter a dog and I enter it in the puppy class, their system automatically says, nope, that dog's more than a year old. It cannot be entered in the puppy class and it helps me from making mistakes. Also with the entry line, they figure out how much the entries are. I don't have to look that up in another place. It again is populated into those fields. So if you, of course, entry line does charge a service for what they do, but it's a service fee that is very well earned by them. It's minimal in the cost of an entry and it's going to save you a lot of grief. So fill out the entry your form, send it in. But if you want to take a shortcut and be sure you're not gonna make a mistake, feel free to call my friends at the entry line. That's it for this episode of Dog Show Tips. Please like and subscribe to our channel and I'll talk to you soon.